the land itself uh, brings memories, remembrance, its history. The land is the Quebec North, home of one of the most productive ecosystems in the world. Matthew Kuhncom was born out on this land. So was his father and his grandfather. Matthew is the Grand Chief of the Grand Council of the Cree of Quebec. His people have called this home for 5,000 years. To them, it is sacred ground. It's where your grandmother is buried. This is where you had your first kill. This is where your spring camp is. This is where your winter camp is. That's our textbook. That's our dictionary. And it's important to preserve it. We are Dohino. We are hunters. We are fishermen. And, and we live off the land. It began some 20 years ago. They called it James Bay 1 and James Bay 2, a massive project to export hydroelectricity conceived by Hydro-Quebec, the government utility. Though there is no market for such a vast energy supply in the foreseeable future, the plan called for destroying a watershed the size of France. It also meant diverting and damming rivers which flow into the James and Hudson Bay. Construction of phase one, called La Grande, began amid protests from the Cree. Among the most articulate was a 16-year-old boy. I got up and I spoke. I talked about uh, how, how what the land at least means to me and the stories that my father and grandfather taught me. Although he remembered the stories, Matthew Kuhn had left this land at an early age, forced to attend government schools. His father reminded him he had more to learn. You know nothing. You don't know how to hunt. You don't know how to trap. But you can really explain it well. But I, but, and I felt mad. I felt insulted and hurt. I felt like punching him. And I walked away, and, uh, and I thought about what he said. And I went back to him and said, Dad, you're right. I know nothing. But will you? You will need to teach me. And he said, yes, I will teach you. You will not only know how to, uh, how to explain it, but you will have lived it. And when you speak, you will speak from the heart. The Cree lost the battle to stop James Bay 1. Hydro-Quebec had proceeded without an environmental impact study. Caribou drowned. Forests were destroyed. Rivers became polluted. Methyl mercury from decaying vegetation contaminated the fish and wildlife, staples of the Cree diet that are now inedible for decades to come. Matthew Kuhncom said enough is enough, and he began to speak from the heart. The traditions, the customs, the language is already interrelated with, with the land. And if you take that away from us, you'll have taken the spirit that's there. You'll have killed a culture, a language, a way of life. And that's something that, that we will not allow to happen. What he would not allow to happen was James Bay II, the Great Whale Project. He formed local, national, and international coalitions. The result, a string of victories. In March 1994, the state of New York canceled a $5 billion contract with Hydro-Quebec. And across the Northeast, communities are agreeing not to purchase energy created by James Bay II. In addition, environmental impact assessments are now required to export energy. But Matthew Kuhncom knows his struggle is far from over. The survival of the people is at stake. We can still be strong as a people, as a nation, and we will survive. That will be our greatest victory, that we have survived. For outstanding environmental achievement in North America, the 1994 Goldman Environmental Prize is awarded to Matthew Kuhncom of Nemesca, Canada.